We will move right now to our first guest this evening, Materia Toure, former co-leader of the Green Party. Kia ora, Materia, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you guys doing? Very well. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this evening. Your 60-second opening statement <laughs> as to why this election is important starts now. The election is important because we can not just change the government, but we can create a good government, not just a different one, a good one that will end poverty. Now, I risked my whole career and put it on the line in order to end poverty in this country because I know that we can do it with a decent government. That's what we've got the choice to create at this election. Let me start with uh, my first question this evening to you, Materia. There are 41,000 homeless in New Zealand with 1,600 dying each year from the cold, tens of thousands more living in overcrowded conditions, and hundreds of thousands locked out of home ownership. What will your party do about that? Fix all of that. The first thing we have to do is we have to deal with poverty because poverty is one of the drivers for a great number of those problems. It's not the only part, but it has to be dealt with. And that means increasing benefits, increasing low wages, fixing working for families, um, making sure that families have got enough money to be able to pay rent and put food on the table and live a decent life. We also need to have a very significant house building program in this country that government um, not just doesn't deliver on its own because it can't and no government could, um, but that works in partnership with iwi organisations, with councils, with community organisations. You know, actually. Um, drives the plan based on the human right of all New Zealanders to have decent shelter. New Zealand, Housing New Zealand needs a, um, you know, a, a core responsibility to make sure that everybody is housed uh, and then works with all of the people and organisations that are possible to deliver that. Um, that is the only way that we will deliver decent housing in this country. So one, we can fix income, we can fix income in, essentially in the first budget. Of the, of the new government. Material, um, for, for dealing with me. housing will take a bit longer. Sorry, Jim. Right. Are you saying then that our homelessness and the lack of affordable housing, yeah. but it's just a political decision? It's, 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 it's a decision oh, yes. not, not to hold those issues up as something that can be solved. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, no, totally it is. And, um, you know, there's a lot of, National puts a lot of blame on the GFC for why, you know, um, for, for the housing crisis. But actually, they had the opportunity at, uh, with the, the global financial crisis to put mm. a major investment into house building because they knew then in 2009 that we had 20,000 people who were homeless in 2009, that we had 70,000 too few homes then for the population as it was then. And they could have, as part of supporting communities during the GFC, invested in training, for people to be to be engaged in the building industry, um, to protect the forestry industry, to protect um, you know our timber companies, to actually have built those homes. And if they had done that investment then, we would not be in the situation we're in now. That officially, didn't do it. Officially, there were six hundred suicides uh, last year. Critics say our real numbers could yeah. be three times higher than that official number. Why? Are New Zealanders killing themselves in such numbers? And, and what will your party do about that? Despair, racism, transphobia, homophobia. I mean, these are all some of the drivers. These are all drivers um, of our high suicide rate. This um, dislocation that people have from their communities and from their families and from the sense that they have any belonging or contribution to make here. Um, we don't keep, this country doesn't keep numbers on the number of beneficiaries who commit suicide, but I know after telling my story that um, I've had lots and lots of mail from family members um, talking about the suicide of their kids um, in particular who were on benefits and just couldn't survive and couldn't cope. So, you know, there's, there's it's, um, you can't just fix it in one go. We say um, provide free mental health counselling to all young people. Mm -hmm. um, as of right, but there's a lot more we're going to have to do to invest in those families who are really suffering now to get over the hump 
know, if we if we deal with poverty, if we deal with housing, make sure there's jobs, that's the long term, but we've got an immediate term, um, urgent need for investment in mental health for everybody who needs it, they should be able to access it. Is climate change the biggest issue facing us as a species and what will your party do about it? Yeah, I think it is actually. And I think we're seeing the effects of climate change and our weather patterns and the change all the time. Um, we have to start treating climate change both as a serious issue, but also as an opportunity because all of the means by which we will um, reduce our emissions and protect our communities are opportunities for you know, 21st century technology, sustainable technologies, new jobs, new business, you know, new opportunities for all our people, particularly for our young. So if we treat um, climate change seriously and then invest in those sustainable technologies and those new ideas and new education for the 21st century, then we've got a real chance of being able to manage the effects of climate change um, and to reduce those impacts over time. What is the biggest issue in health right now and what will the Greens do about it? So much of it is underfunded, but I think the mental health issue, actually mental health probably is, um, because partly because actually if you invest right now, you can help fix that. You know, people can be made well, can be led to wellness, I guess, um, if, if they have the right support at the right time. Um, and so, you know, mental health is just becoming so acute for people as they're suffering long-term poverty, long-term dislocation, long-term abuse. Um, and that we need to, that needs to be where we, I think we need to put a huge amount of resource right now. Uh, final question to you. What is the biggest issue in education right now and what will the Greens do about it? Well, one of um, our big priorities, and there's lots of big issues in education, is in Te Reo Māori that if we're going to have a treaty-based nation, if we're going to have a treaty bicultural nation, we need our kids, all of our kids, to know Te Reo Māori and as part of that, Tikanga Māori and New Zealand history because we will never have a country that is safe for us all to be Pākehā and Māori in if we don't all understand where we come from, how we got here and understand each other's language, our Indigenous language. Thank you, Matera. You have 30 seconds for your closing statement. Why should New Zealanders vote for the Green Party in the 2017 election. Your time starts now. Look, it is the Green Party that will make sure Labour does the right thing in government, frankly. Uh, we know that there are big transformations we need in this country, and only the Greens will make sure Labour takes those important steps. Doesn't just tinker around the edges, but actually does end poverty, does deal with climate change, does clean up our rivers. That's why we need the best possible vote for the Green Party at this election. Materia, thank you so much. Many respects for everything you've done this campaign. Kilda. Good luck. Hooray. Thank you.